interrupt this program to bring you a very special edition of the Harris Grant Show. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's your host, Mr. Harris Grant. Thank you, and welcome back to the Harris Grant Show, where we bring you all the latest news from the world of entertainment. I'm Harris Grant, and tonight we have a very special guest with us, a seven-time Emmy Award-winning news and sports anchor and the current host of This Week in WWE, let's welcome Scott Stanford. Oh, Harris, I got to tell you, I've been waiting my entire career to be on the Harris Grant Show, and tonight, one of my career goals, one of my bucket list dreams finally comes true. Scott, thank you for joining us. A lot of our listeners would love to know how and when you knew that you wanted to be a broadcaster, and especially with the WWE. I pretty much have wanted to be a broadcaster since I'm 10 years old, my friend. And, and you know, thank goodness I got to live out the dream with WWE all these years. It's been amazing. Wow, that's great. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got started and your uh, first jobs in broadcasting? Well, yeah, you know, I, I basically paid my dues like you're supposed to do. I, I, I got a couple of jobs in radio early on. I was a morning news anchor. And from there, I got picked up to do TV, and one thing led to another. And before I knew it, I was a sportscaster and a news anchor on major stations in New York. Scott, you went on to win seven Emmy Awards as a sportscaster. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, Harris, I got to tell you, it was great. You know, some of the best nights of my life was, you know, winning those Emmy Awards. You're up against some of the best sports anchors. It reminds me of of some of the things I accomplished in this business, uh, and it really just makes me feel proud to do what I always wanted to do. You have been with the WWE for 11 years. Matter of fact, I'll never forget when I was a kid, you signed my program at WrestleMania 29 at MetLife Stadium. Did I sign your program? I did? Yeah, all these years later, I still remember. The WWE has an upcoming pay-per-view Survivor Series on November 22nd. Can you tell us about some of the featured matches we can look forward to at this upcoming pay-per-view? Well, you know what, Harris? The WWE Survivor Series is always one of my favorite pay-per-views of the year, aside from WrestleMania and maybe, you know, SummerSlam. But Survivor Series is one of those pay-per-views where you have the superstars from the red brand, which is Raw, and the superstars from the blue brand, which is SmackDown, going up against each other. So right now, they're putting all those matches together, so you already have the WWE champion from uh, Raw and the WWE Universal champion from SmackDown, Roman Reigns, going up against Randy Orton, and it's an elimination match just to see who could brag about the supremacy for the rest of the year. So it's it's going to be an amazing pay-per-view, WWE Network, and I can't wait to see it. Sounds really exciting. I'm sure a lot of my listeners will be tuning into Survivor Series on November 22nd to see what happens. Scott, we're just about out of time, but I got just one more question for you. Would you have any advice for our listeners who are interested in becoming a broadcaster? Yeah, you know what, Harris? If you're a youngster and you're in college and you're in broadcasting school and you're getting ready to graduate, the one thing I could say is practice, practice, practice. Practice your radio skills. You'll have to, you know, you're going to pay a lot of dues as you work your way up, but it's all about being ready for that next step. And every time you practice, you'll be more ready for the next step that comes your way. Wow, that's some great advice, Scott. I can't thank you enough for your time. Oh, Harris, this has been just an amazing opportunity for me, as well as you, my friend. This this is a soon-to-be award-winning program right here. I love it. You know it. From all of us here at the Harris Grant Show, thank you for listening, and please stay safe. Farmers and chips, farmers and chips, farmers and chips. Welcome to the world of farmers and chefs a wonderful restaurant and outdoor bar in the city of Poughkeepsie, specializing in on-site and off-site catering, food trucks, and our house-made plant-based vegan ice cream. Join us for a delicious local fair dinner with the view of the Hudson River Valley. Visit us at farmersandchefs.com. Farmers and chefs, farmers and chefs, farmers and chefs.